Hi guys! Welcome back to Defining Glamour. I hope you guys are all doing awesome today. I'm super excited to be sharing my experiences and my views and swatches on the newly launched Boxum Vava Plum liquid lipsticks. I was super excited to try these out. Um, if you follow me on my Twitter account, I tweeted saying that I actually did miss out on these, but then I realized that they were not even launched. So as soon as they launched at Sephora, I immediately went ahead and grabbed some of my absolute favorite shades that I thought would look flattering on my skin tone. I didn't get all of the shades. I only got five of the 20 shades that are available. But if you guys want to know what I think about these, what I really loved about these, then please continue to watch this video. But just really quickly talking about the product itself, if you have not seen these at Sephora then um, this is how they look like these have been newly launched at Boxum um, official website so these are the Vava Plum liquid lipsticks now these are not the ultra like the regular ultra you know matte lipsticks these are more of the um, you know how um, BH Cosmetics came out with lip lacquers that's how I would define these in one word these are very similar to lip lacquers so they don't have that matte full-on you know ultra matte finish to them they do have an ultra shine finish to them and I believe Boxum says that in the description of their um, product as well so this is the packaging it is a pretty big tube to me we're gonna go ahead and open up really really quickly so um, the so this is how the applicator looks like. It does have that tint of um, cut to it, like a diagonal cut to it, which I love. Um, it's really, really easy to work with the applicator and get that position. You don't really need a lip liner. I don't have any lip liner applied on my lips. Um, now the only thing with this is that because it's an ultra shine, they will be transferable. So, um, however, they are very, very pigmented. I had these on, I have this shade on uh, for the last, I would say about four hours straight. And in between I did drink a glass of water as well and um, I did see that the product was transferring so um, if you are looking for an ultra matte finish then these probably are not for you but if you're looking for something that is more gives you more of a shine you want to leave it on for about two three hours without eating or drinking you know just going out hanging out with friends and things like that um, definitely would uh, recommend it for that reason to those people these are available at Sephora they're available at Ulta and of course at Boxum's official website as well now these lipsticks do come in 20 amazing shades so there's um, shades you know ranging from neutrals there's cool tones there's warm tones and then there's all these pinks berries plums reds you name it so the 20 shades that are available they're going to flatter any skin tone out there um, now the shades that I grabbed for myself as you guys can probably tell I have a very warm skin I have a very yellowy um, undertone to my skin so that's why I went ahead and grabbed warmer shades because cooler shades on my skin tone look absolutely nonsense like seriously they don't look good on me um i can i cannot pull off a cool tone color so that's why the shades that i will show you are one very neutral um two there is i think a pop of color i don't remember the shades that i got uh, but also very very warm very neutral as well um, the pigmentation is really opaque on these however they're not extremely extremely long lasting because it is a transferable product you're gonna see yourself applying these on at least i would say about at least once in four hours um that's if you're eating and drinking if you're not eating anything if you're not drinking anything then you can see yourself you know keeping these on only once the application is extremely smooth these are extremely extremely moisturizing once you apply them you're going to feel that um, coolness on your lips but that fades away after about I would say 10 minutes um, but it that just tells you that the ingredients within the um, or the formula within the lipstick is just amazing very, very opaque very very beautiful shades to try if you are somebody who likes um, you know lip lacquers then you will definitely enjoy these I do want to go ahead and compare these to the ultra matte soft matte liquid lipsticks that Boxum came out with this is how this tube looks like so this is the new one the Boxum one and then this is the whipped cream one as you guys can probably tell this one's a lot you do get 5 ml of product however you are paying around $28 for this one Canadian I believe however in this one you are paying around $24 Canadian and you are getting a product of 3.5 ml um, I don't see 
myself using these every single time though these are probably for for me in real life they're probably for the time when I'm going for grocery shopping or you know I'm going to an appointment or something I would definitely put put these in keep these in my purse and just you know apply them really really quickly just to get that um, just to give a little bit more color to my lips um, so that's how I would use these the last thing I want to go ahead and talk about in terms of my mini reviews on these box and lipsticks is the the plum factor of it um, these are called the shiny liquid lipsticks that will give you a little bit of a plumped up lip now personally I'm not a huge fan of these trends that go around this I call them the crazy trends um, and um, you know on Instagram and social media and whatnot but um, I don't want my lips to be plump I just want to keep them the way they are they look fine um, these do not make your lips like extremely plumped up you guys it's really how you apply the liquid lipstick I think will give you the best you know outline of your lips um, so if you want something that will plump your lips then this is probably not for you because you will be disappointed if you want to go ahead and line your lips and uh, use a lip liner then you can definitely do so but don't expect this to really plump up the lips but it will make your uh, lips look just a little bit more fuller but not to the extremest though um, the color that I have on right now it's such a beautiful warm color you guys I would recommend it to anybody who has a warm skin tone um, I think it looks super gorgeous so when I was applying the product um, I didn't see any creases I didn't see any you know um, I didn't see the product going in between the lines or anything of that nature which I absolutely enjoyed in this they feel extremely light um, however I find that the formula is just a little bit more thicker uh, than their um, you know than the boxum whipped cream that they came out like two years ago um, but overall I did enjoy these I am really ready to show you guys my swatches of this color that I have on right now is actually called lights down and it's such a beautiful warm shade and here is that pigmentation I think it's a really pretty warm shade so this one again is called lights down you guys it's such a beautiful color the second one that I have is called beg for mauve and this one is a light pink shade go ahead and open this up so here it is I don't know if you guys can see that we'll do a quick swatch is that beautiful pink you guys see that warm tone shade right there back for mauve I think it's a perfect mauve color I've been looking for a color like this for the last I don't know how many years I love the softness I love the the rose pink warm shade that it has the undertones it has I think it will flatter any skin tone but for me personally I'm in love with this color for my skin tone so I really love this the next shade that I have is called getting warmer I love this so much. I love the name as well, Getting Warmer. It's like this, it's a beautiful, beautiful color, you guys. I'll go ahead and do a quick swatch. Look at this. This is actually one of my mom's favorite color as well. She loves these dusty mauves color, and I've been looking for this type of color for ages as well. Um, so I love this color as well. This is Getting Warmer. It's a beautiful, like a neutral pink mauve undertone. Look at that. It's super shiny, you guys. I love it so much. The fourth shade that I have is called Come to Dolly. The names of these liquid lipsticks is just super beautiful, and look at this shade you guys you have to fall in love with this just a little bit on the more pinky side of the first one that you guys see right there look at that swatch oh my goodness it's such a beautiful color I cannot wait to wear these like when I go out with my family or to meet my family this is just incredible look at the shine in them the pigmentation is just is just amazing so the last color that I have is actually called Make Me Melt. Such a beautiful color. I'll go ahead and do it over here. And this is more of that wimpy color that you guys see and love online. Such a beautiful color. Look at it. It has a little bit of a purple undertone to it. Like more of a maroony, burgundy, purple. Like those wimpy colors that you see and love. That's how this one looks like. 
So there's the last one right there. So these are the colors that I got because I thought that they will look amazing on me, like I said probably a hundred times during this video. Um, but also because I am in love with lip lacquers. If you have tried BH Cosmetics lip lacquers, you are going to definitely love these. And I think um, you could say that they're more on the pricey side, but looking at the color range, looking at the formula, the way that they look and feel on your lips, I think they're worth the price. Um, it's for you to decide. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. If you think it's expensive or not, do leave your comments down below and let me know if you would be purchasing these or not. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I really don't think I have anything else to say about these lipsticks. And that ends this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the reviews and watches of these I will definitely hope to see you soon in my next video and before you leave if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below as well as hit that little bell right beside it so you don't miss out my new uploads and uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more lip swatches comment down below what your favorite shade was and I hope to see you guys in my next video very very soon take care guys bye